This is Mark Newman, president and founder of Precision Analytical. This video is intended to assist you with your collection for the Dutch Complete. Within the envelope, you'll find the test kit, and as you open the test kit, you'll find on the right a pocket with all the contents of your test kit. You'll find five urine collection devices, a plastic bag to return the specimen in, and a return mailer. You'll want to read all of the instructions through thoroughly before you begin, particularly if you are on hormone replacement therapy as some of the hormones need to be skipped either the day of or the day before collection to get the best results. Starting on the left side of the collection instructions, you'll find instructions for when to collect the test. This is going to be a little bit different for men and women, and particularly if women are still cycling. If you have any questions on what the best day is to collect your samples, please call the laboratory. Next, you'll find instructions on how to collect each of the samples. Make sure that when you collect each sample, you label each device clearly and completely. Saturate the filter paper by urinating in a clean cup and then dipping the filter paper or urinating directly on the filter paper, but you want to ensure that there's complete saturation of the filter paper. Leave each of these samples open to dry for at least 24 hours. Once they're dry, fold them up and place them in the plastic bag and seal the bag to return to the laboratory. The timing of each sample can be seen on the instructions for when to collect. For most patients, it's most convenient to start with the dinnertime sample, but you can collect these samples starting with the waking sample and moving forward from there. Fluid intake throughout the day of collection should be somewhat restricted. Urine results are best if you're not overly hydrated. Avoid caffeine and alcohol the day of the test and limit fluid intake to 32 total ounces spread evenly throughout the day. For the first two samples, avoid fluids entirely the two hours prior to collection. The first sample collection is around 5 p.m. just before the evening meal. The next sample, sample number two, is collected at bedtime or between 10 p.m. and midnight. Again, as with the dinnertime sample, avoid fluids for two hours prior to this sample. Sample number three can be collected right at waking when you're ready to get up for the day. Collect this sample within 10 minutes and do not lay awake in bed before collecting. The fourth sample should be collected two hours after waking. You may want to set a timer after collecting sample number three to remind you to collect this fourth sample between the waking sample and the last sample collected two hours later, limit fluid intake to about one cup. The fifth collection device that you'll find in your test kit is to collect if and only if you wake up in the middle of the night and urinate. If you wake up and urinate a second time in the middle of the night, do not collect this sample. When you've finished all of your collections and the samples have dried completely and been placed in the sealed plastic bag, return the samples immediately to the laboratory. Thank you for testing with Precision Analytical. If you have any questions on your sample collection, please feel free to call our customer service department at 503-687-2050.